Everybody, it's Christmas prepared mine one. Oh, what's what's with the jacket? Yeah, I live in Ohio, so a week ago it was like 73 degrees. Now it's 33 degrees. So, yay, Ohio. Anyway, uh, the other day, Canadian Prepper uploaded a video. One of my favorite types of videos. It's one of these uh, pass it around to YouTubers and see what they all come up with types. And he did a video about his 10 favorite survival prepper items. So I'm going to continue that tradition today and hopefully we'll pick up some more people because it's always awesome to see what other people pick. Now these are not like these are my top 10 overall. These are just 10 of my favorites. I wanted to do something a little bit different because it's survival prepping. There's a little bit of a spread there that you can do. But what I wanted to do differently is I wanted to do five what I would call value items and five luxury items. So in no particular order, let's see what we came up with. Oh, but you gotta watch the intro first. Okay, we're gonna start off with the newest item out of the 10 that I have here. So this one's going to fall into the prepper category, maybe urban survival. This is not a wood survival item. And in full disclosure, as I always like to do that, this was provided by the company, which is great seeing that I've spent like, I don't know, five, 600 bucks on their stuff in the last six months. They asked me if I wanted to review something. I picked this. I didn't realize how big it was gonna be. I just kind of glanced at it. But wow, I really like this thing. It's from Cold Steel. And this is the new limited edition James Wesley Rawls uh, from survivalblog.com uh, XL Voyager. What makes this one different? It's got uh, green Grivex handles, it's got a CTS, this is a big CTS XHP steel blade with the DLC coating. So it's a five and a half inch blade. It's about a between five and a half, six inch handle. Why would you want something this big? Uh, some people, is this an EDC knife? No, let me tell you what I think this knife is. This knife is a folding combat knife. Just about, you know, self-defense, slashing out of a car, seat belts, whatever. I mean, this thing is just freaking nasty. It does have a combo edge. Some people get crazy about that. As I've said before, you can sharpen cold steel serrations using the Lansky uh, ceramic sharpener. It's about eight bucks. It's on my uh, store in the knife sharpening section. I don't know what to say about this thing, man. It's got a freaking wicked point. Uh, you know, actually with these Tontos, you've got two points that this can be used for, you know, snap cuts. Look at the size of this thing. Now, it does come with a pocket clip. Here's what I do differently. I did the same thing. I had the old uh, XL Tonto before. I take the pocket clips off. It's a bit big for your pocket. Uh, these handles do snag a little bit with the tightness. I like just having it without a pocket clip. I'll just shove it in a pocket, back pocket, front pocket, whatever. But I don't like. I like it without the pocket clip. Folding freaking combat knife. These things run about 144 bucks. Again, it's a limited edition with this with the better steel, the CTS XHP. You know, why does James Wesley Rawls have a cold steel knife? If I had to wager a guess, aside from being like one of the most notable survival prepper guys out there, maybe they feel sorry for him. He's probably the only prepper out there that has had to completely replace all his long-term food storage. You know, you, you think you, you got it covered when you buy long-term food storage and it's 25 plus years. This guy's been at it for so freaking long. I mean, think how long it's been since Patriots first came out in paperback. Think about it, he's had to replace all his food. 
my guy, for his sake, I hope the world ends soon. Just so it, it would be a travesty if he died before the world ended. So here's hoping. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling for you, James. Cool knife, by the way. Now, Canadian Prepper's video, he chose the Katana Boy, the Silky Katana Boy as his saw. And that is a beast of a saw. I don't have one yet, maybe someday. Here's the four saws that I have, and my choice is definitely in here. So I've got the Corona Razor Cut Saw, and this is in a Copperhead Custom, custom Concealment uh, Kydex Sheath, meant for pack mount. I've got the Silky Gom Boy. I've got a Baco Laplander in a Hidden Woodsman pouch made for this saw in particular. And one that you haven't seen on my channel, this is the Silky Big Boy. I actually bought this for that uh, 10 pound winter survival challenge and then it never got cold enough. So again, yay for Ohio. But the one that I had to pick, this is going to fall into, this is gonna be a value item and it's gotta be the Corona razor cut saw. And that's because just about anybody can find one of these. They're about $17 at Lowe's. They cut phenomenal. Just amazing saws for the money. What happened? Oh, well, I had something really cool in this spot before, and then literally like three minutes after I post the video, I get an email saying, no, you can't put, show that yet. It's not time. I'm like, eh, crap. So I had to come up with something else that was uh, top 10 list worthy. So I decided to throw these in here. These are my Anchor PowerCore Plus uh, power packs. Now I've been reviewing and recommending these things since year one of my channel, but it pays to be specific. So these are new and improved ones. These are the ones that I would tell people to get. The PowerCore Plus ones have the, uh, the Qualcomm fast charge technology in it. So if I wanna charge my Note 5, and I plug it in, it activates the fast charge in my phone and charges them freaking fast. Tops them off really quick, like less than a half an hour in the way that I've tested them. I consider these things to be essential prepper items. I consider these things to be essential EDC items. So my most critical, most used items are USB powered. So. If you're a prepper, power is a resource and it pays to have some extra power in your pocket. How many movies, how many situations have you seen on TV where someone's in trouble? It's like, oh, my phone's about to die or whatever. I use these things every single day. Now, I've been using the 10500, uh, which is what the first one that had that fast charge, but since the kids are always stealing it and plugging in their tablets and stuff like that, and I wanted one that had two ports for camping, I just got off of Amazon the 13400 MAH. So this one has two ports. So a lot of times when I'm camping, I will plug in my phone at night, and I'll use the little uh, Goal Zero lamp, plug it in the other port, so I've got some light. But, I mean, there's dozens of reasons why you would want to have this as part of your your everyday preps and i know that there's this trend now, now these things are catching on so i'm seeing other brands come in and i'm seeing them on youtube it's like well, this is the best survival one it's waterproof and you can jump on it and all this stuff look i've been using these since before i started my youtube channel i've never dropped one in a puddle i've never felt the need to run over it with a car uh, I stick to the ones that I know work and these ones are <laughs> so I mean, you look at any of my videos on these products and it's full of comments from people saying the same thing so definitely well let's pick one so I've got two of them here so I'm gonna say you know for the 35 bucks that it costs let's go with the 13400 fast charge capability two ports won't break the bank hundreds of uses all right, back to a value item. You know this is always gonna be on any top 10 list, regardless when it comes to survival prepping, because it's one of my most favorite things in the world. You know it, you know it, you know it's coming, you know it's coming. 
Jessica X. And I don't care if you hate it because I freaking love this knife. Specifically designed to chop, specifically designed to baton, and practically freaking unbreakable. I asked Trade, I was like, have you ever gotten anything coming through warranty department or customer service about one of your 1070 knives being broken? They said, no. 1070 is incredibly tough steel. I have tried everything I can freaking try to break this thing. So, and at 54 bucks, I'm sorry, if you're, you're mad right now, I don't care. I love this knife. I don't go in the woods without it. C2G Fab Sheath. And just so you know, uh, Yellowhawk is going to start offering uh, Jessica X sheaths here s soon too. He just bought one because he's got a lot of requests for it. But I've already covered this uh, quite a bit, but it, the, it belongs on this list. So let's go back to another luxury item. The next item, again, I would call this a luxury item, something that I absolutely cannot wait to get back out and use again, which is gonna be soon. If you, if you noticed, the green is starting to come in, and with the green coming in, I'm getting that itch to go back to the woods again. Uh, I hate the woods in the winter when it's all barren and bleh. but man when it's when the sun's shining it's green out man i can't wait to get out there so what is it it's my aqua quest defender tarp this is the best freaking tarp i've ever owned ever tested ever used ever reviewed it's my favorite uh did a couple tests with it used it a couple times not nearly as much as i wanted to uh, given the time of year when I first got it. So I'm going to be using it a lot this year. But that when it comes to shelter, having enough room, having enough space for multiple people, or to actually make, make some sort of enclosed uh, tarp shelter, this thing is the bomb. So this is one of the things I actually have a link for that supports the channel if you do buy one. So that's in the description box below. But check just about any reviewer don't want to listen to me just about anybody that's ever reviewed one of the aqua quest tarps they're freaking awesome that's all there is to it so that is my next pick for a luxury item so what about what's what's the next value item so i tried to pick items that was kind of like a spread across the board so this one's going to work either way uh as a prepper item, as a survival, whatever. I always think flashlights go right up against knives for most useful thing that you can carry on you. So if I had, I had to pick one that I think believes in uh, a, any kind of uh, preparedness kit, I had to choose the Through Night TC12. Now this is not the one that I carry the most often. Most often I usually carry my Olight uh, M1X Striker or my Olight uh, S2 Baton. But I do carry this sometimes. This always rides on my haversack on the outside. And the reason why this is included in this kit uh, or this list for value, you know, they run about 50 some bucks, uh, 50 to 54, I can't remember off the top of my head. USB rechargeable, highly reliable, and it has really high high really low low so it's got good mode spacing tactical tactical functionality and that all important usb uh, rechargeability function so if you're charging off an anchor product or uh, just a, a simple car charger or anything like that there's always some way that you can get this thing charged and keep it topped off so when it comes to all those factors i think this is uh, top pick in the value flashlight category okay for the next luxury item on the list i decided to choose a pack and i don't have that many packs anymore this is the one that i refuse to give up i refuse to trade it i refuse to sell it it's the one that i use the most often and i think it's one of the ones that is the most versatile and that is my vanquest ibex 30 pack now I've done a couple different videos on this, uh, the way that this thing opens up and just, you can set this thing up so many freaking different ways and the way that it can accept all brands of uh, hook and loop uh, pouches and pockets and things like that. I, you know, I've 
I've done other videos where I used other things like that and made it into different things. But this is the one that I generally use in the summer. Uh, this is the one that I always use if I'm going out to film. So I can jam all my camera equipment in here plus whatever it is I'm going out to review, test, whatever. In the summer, I like this one because it's just the size of it. I think it's just the right size to where you can you can pack a comfortable amount of survival, preparedness, camping, whatever gear in here, and it forces you to keep it to the basics. You can't overload this. It's but you can get enough for just about everything you need aside from like a sleep system or whatever. You're not going to fit a sleep system in here. But yeah, this is def this is a Jessica list pack. Absolutely love this pack. I understand. I think they've got a newer version, uh, maybe a different size coming out soon. I'll have to check in my correspondence with them. But yeah, I mean, the Ibex 30 is definitely one of my favorite packs of all time. And this one is the urban color, the wolf gray. So it kind of blends in no matter if you're out in the woods or in the city or anything like that. So still one of my all time favorite packs. All right, taking a cue from Canadian Prepper's list, he had a pair of pants in his list. So I'm going to put a pair of pants in my list. I don't have them to show you here today because they're, they're packed up in a kit right now, but I'm actually going to order some more here soon. And those are the LA Police Gear uh, pants. They run about 20 bucks. They're, I did a video on it a while back. It's got a lot of views. still gets views. It's $20 bomb-proof pants or something like that. The pairs that I have are over four years old. It's still holding up. I don't. I wear jeans a lot, so I don't always wear tactical pants. But when I do, those are the ones that I like. My father-in-law, uh, I introduced him to them, and he wears them every day for work. He's got like six pairs of them, so he's kind of like my sounding board. It's like, how's this pants holding up? No problems. Everyone that I know of has pretty much had no problems with these pants and the fact that they're only twenty dollars I mean geez I mean what more can you ask for so check them out if you haven't seen them before I mean the ones that I show in the video they're actually made even a little bit nicer than those were now the ones that he has are definitely nicer different tags and stuff like that I mean they, they definitely look like high quality stuff and you definitely cannot beat the price I uh, factored this one in as a luxury item, although an argument could be made for calling it a value item, but since it's a ferro rod, it cost me about 45 bucks. I think in that, in that category, it, it's more of uh, a luxury item, and that is my Rick Lindsay ferro rod. Now, Rick Lindsay, you can only kind of find him on Facebook. He doesn't have a storefront or anything like that. But this is my favorite ferro rod ever. Uh, ferro rods, you know, you got the, the lighter crowd. Everything's about a Bic lighter. These things work 100% of the time. It doesn't care what the weather is. Uh, you get thousands and thousands and thousands of strikes out of it. And they, it, they can do something that a lot of lighters can't. And that is light marginal tinder. By continually scraping it and hammering it and heating it up and drying it out, I've been able to light just about anything with one of these. Now, a fair odds, a fair rod to, to some people. If you want to just get a five dollar fair rod, that's great. This is the one that I like. This is a five inch rod. I would generally suggest anybody gets you know a five to six inch rod. They're just you can't argue with them. <laughs> you really can't. But Rick's, I really like his. Jesse has one too. Uh, she has my old one that says Jess on it. This is my PM 101 one that he did. I absolutely love this rod. It, its home is on my C2G Fab Jessica X sheath. So two great tastes go together. There you go. Well, let's say for instance, you're one of those guys that hates ferro rods and you're on the lighter team. So I wanna have an alternate for this one. So if you don't like the ferro rods, this is my choice for value lighter. And that is the County Com Peanut Lighter XL stainless steel. This is the one that goes in my fire kit if I'm actually going out in the woods for a given amount of time. And the reason is 
they have a they can take a lot of Zippo fluid and it's not going to evaporate now as I pointed out in the video where I showcased this the o-ring that it does come with is a little bit on the small side and in that video you'll have to search it I showed which set of o-rings I found at Lowe's that actually do the trick for this thing it's too windy out here but yeah I mean for sure fire or at least sure flame not having to worry about your lighter fluid evaporating always going to be there when you need it definitely like these uh, county com maritac stainless steel peanut lighters so for the final one is a value item and there is it's a water filter and there's a lot of water filters out there on the market and they're constantly revamp revamping themselves and all this i think i reviewed this one maybe a year to a year and a half ago maybe longer i don't remember exactly and it's still my favorite out of all of them and that is the Renovo Trio. Now I should point out, I did some digging on this. There's another filter out there that looks exactly like this. And it's called the Survivor Filter. They're not coming from the same place. There's this whole, you know, backstory thing, fighting, whatever. But the but what the first thing that I noticed when I compared to when I I saw someone else review it and I looked at the packaging is a survival filter came in like this plastic bag my Renovo trio and all the replacement parts because you can get replacement parts for this you can get new filter elements and all that stuff and they all come individually vacuum sealed so if you're dealing with charcoal filters and stuff like that they need to be vacuum sealed not just in some random plastic bag you, you, every good filter that I've ever bought came in some sort of vacuum sealed uh, packaging. So stick with the one that was there first, uh, the name brand. It's only a couple bucks more. Uh, this is generally about 35 bucks. If you're in Columbus, Steve Survival Tactics sells these and he sells uh, the replacement parts for them. I just replaced all the stuff for this. What's nice about this compared to this this filters down to point it's either 0.5 or 0.05 microns it's uh, it's for it filters four times smaller than a life straw uh, twice as small as a Sawyer mini so this is the one that I, li I like again made right sealed right filters good and all the parts are individually replaceable they're not giving you some sort of crazy oh this can filter a hundred billion thousand gallons last fill you're ever going to need you want to trust that <laughs> i don't uh filters aren't going to last forever you're going to need to swap that stuff out so don't think you're going to buy one twenty dollar filter and it's going to filter a million gallons for you it's going to get pretty you want to trust that that's on you uh, this is the one. This one goes in my set, my wrapped on T311 72 hour kit inside the stainless steel bottle that I have in it. So that's my favorite one for a value selection for water filters. So there you go, guys. That's my list of 10 of my favorite uh, survival prepper items. Again, in no particular order, I just tried to pick uh, some things that kind of came from a large spread of different things and I try to split them between uh, luxury and value items so I'm interested in all you other youtubers out there uh, these videos are great I love watching them uh, to me it's just it's fun it's entertainment YouTube's about entertainment and so it's fun to just see what people are going to pick as opposed to you know always being about lessons and stuff like that so highly encourage you other youtubers and your friends of mine to put up your top 10 list so there you go I'm Chris from prepared mind 101 thanks for watching be sure to click like share and subscribe it really helps me out and be sure to check out the links in the description box below uh, things like the audible uh, trial the prime trial that stuff really goes a long way to support the channel doesn't cost you a thing uh, links to certain items that uh, 
I had in here. Now that powerhouse, I don't think that's quite available yet, will be soon, but some of the items that I can show in here, uh, I'll be sure to put links in the description box below. Other than that, I'll be back with another video here soon, so see you then.